My name is Tiana Horton. I am a first year biochemistry pre-med major from North Carolina. My name is Jeremiah Johnson. I'm a first year pharmaceutical science major from Richmond, Virginia. My name is Amir Thomas. I'm a first year biology pre-med major from PG County, Maryland. My name is Rahman Kohli. I'm a first year psychology major from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. To start off our project, I wanted to define what birds of prey mean for context. Birds of prey are a hyperconivorous bird species that actively hunt and feeds on other animals. To give other context, when birds migrate in the fall season, they travel from north to south when it's in the colder seasons and back north in the warmer seasons, warmer months. Our research site, our research site is Smith Point, Texas on the Gulf of Texas and the weather in the area, temperatures ranging from 60 degrees into the high 80s. Our research question is, does the wind direction affect the abundance of birds during migration? The two things that we look for in the experiment was the abundance of each bird species throughout the season of 2020 and 2021. And we also observed wind, pattern, direct wind patterns throughout the season as well. For our null hypothesis, we said that there is no connection between the weather and the number of birds of prey that were observed. For our hypothesis, we said that birds that are most common in Smith Point, Texas during the fall season will be the most frequently observed birds. And for our prediction, we predicted that during the warmer months of the fall season, more birds would be observed. So for our methods, did we uh, observe, observe different species of hawks and they were recorded in Smith Point, Texas. This data was recorded in the months of August to November. So the recorded data was uploaded to hawkwatch.com, which allowed people to observe their findings and see how birds migrated across the country. We then recorded specific data from August to November, and the data was collected and transferred to an Excel sheet. The data was uploaded, they compared and analyzed. And with that data, we were able to create, um, create graphs and tables so that the, uh, we could draw conclusions from the data. So, in figure two, this shows this shows the wind direction, the graph of the wind direction. And as we notice that the higher the wind direction, the higher it runs of birds of prey, as you can see, as you can see in figure two. And in figure three, this also this showed the uh, most this showed the most observed hawk in Smith Point during the fall season. And as you can see, the sharp shinned hawk was the most observed bird during this time. And then in figure five. This is a pie chart of the number of birds observed. And we see that, uh, again, well, Broadway Hawk was the most observed, and also the sharp chin Hawk was third. And in figure four, with the picture of the Cooper Hawk. For our discussion, we were comparing our results, and our results show that the wind direction did contribute to the increase of bird species in the area. Our hypothesis was supported by showing how the abundance of each bird increased when the warmer months was approaching. We also observed that if the wind direction going from north to south, the abundance of each bird species would increase rather than the wind direction going south to north, which was fairly low. During our research, we found that the weather conditions heavily affected the abundance of the birds that migrated. And in addition to that, our research supported that weather conditions could affect the wind direction as well, which by extension would also affect the migration rate of the birds. So as you'll see in figure one, zero degrees on the y-axis would equal north, 90 degrees would equal east, 180 degrees would equal south, and 270 degrees would equal west. A sample of the data from Smith Point, Texas, suggested that the bird abundance was highest in the directions of south to north. So to conclude this, we'd like to acknowledge first the National Science Foundation. We'd also like to thank hogcount.org for providing us a credible resource for our experiment. And we'd like to thank Dr. Dash for supporting us, answering our questions, and giving us the resources we needed to become successful through the project. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.